Hi everyone, this is Ryan Hoyme, aka Massage Nerd, and today we have Cindy from SacralWedgie.com. Hi. Uh, good to see you again. Yep. I think you bring this around every I place do, you go. My friend. Yep. Um, actually, I was trying to add up, I think I've done at least 15, if not more, of the FSMTA shows. Wow. I've not missed one. Well, we go you're back. dedicated. <laughs> Well, I've tried to not do them a couple of times, and everybody's going like, what do you mean? You have to be here. You know, I'm like a fixture here at this point, you know? But during this time, though, I have developed a class um, because I have so many therapists that, that come to the booth, they get a demonstration, and they go like, I want to learn how to do this. I want to learn more about it. So it's, it's through the encouragement of the therapists that I've worked with over the years that have really kind of nudged me along to develop um, a, a gravity mo modality, basically, yep. and uh, it's a sacrology class, so we are now sacrologists. Yep. <laughs> and you coined that term that. right. So, I yeah. did. I did. I trademarked it. You're so, good. Uh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> wasn't easy, but I did. No, yeah. <laughs> LegalZoom.com. Yep, yep, that's what I had to do with the mind too. So, yep, yep. Really, you go through the process. Yep. But what, what we've done here is um, taken my father's invention. Now, what he did for years as a football coach, he's, he's a football coach and trainer, a lot of background in kinesiology, but back in the late 50s, this is how far back we're, we're going with yep. this concept. Um, a friend was an osteopath, and he would say, Coach, just hold the sacrum. So, we yep. were just. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Therapy. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. A spinocane. Yeah, yeah. There you go, another, <laughs> another one. <laughs> he would just hold the sacrum with his hand, but it would take about 20 minutes. He was going by what he felt in his hand. He said it would feel like a war zone at first. Uh -huh. He could feel the muscles quiver, the pulsing, and for some reason around that 20 minute mark, all of this would just subside. So for years he did this. He would just get the, the athlete on the training table, let him lay there, and he would just hold the sacrum until he felt that release. And uh, that's what encouraged him to develop a device that would mimic his hand. And uh, it took him about 10 years with uh, hundreds of x-rays, uh, getting the anatomy, male-female anatomy, having the mold built. Um, the, the whole process was quite involved but it had to isolate, cradle, and elevate only the sacrum, just like his hand was doing. So from that, we have the sacral wedgie, which will do what his hand was doing. And so all the therapists that do cranial sacral work, um, anybody that's done work like that knows the sacrum is the keystone of our anatomy. It is the center of gravity. You hold it in a neutral, stable position and everything will release around it. So um, during the course of this 15, 20 years I've been doing this, we have a very gentle release for the psoas where we just very gently pulse in the insertion point and you get a nice gentle release. So we, we've taken all of that, you're getting a deeper stretch internally using your own body weight. So um, that's where the class comes in and the demonstration at the booth. And this is the male version. And then this is the female version. The female sacrum is shorter and wider. The male a little bit more narrow and a little bit longer. That's why some women that have a longer frame are going to be more comfortable on the male version. Okay. And you actually teach classes then on yes. this too? Uh -huh. so, yeah. I have one in Tallahassee in yeah. August. All oh, that's on my website. But we're doing demonstrations at the booth too. So if okay. anybody wants to try it, then And then what kind of, what, what involves in your classes then? What do you go over and what do you explain? And uh, Well, the first, the first part is the self-care part for the therapist. Every therapist, therapist in there, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Take care of yourself first. Aren't those one of the um, self-care classes are the most <laughs> under-attended, would you say? Because everybody wants technology. It seems, but well, this way you yeah. get both. Yep, no, you yep. get both. You get your. But the thing um, is, they do need the self-help, but yes. we just need to convince them that they need. Well, that's, most yeah, of yeah. them have their own issues yep. themselves, so um, we resolve that first, and then we start into the uh, techniques where they work on each other. There's a lot of hands-on. I keep my classes real small, yep. and I when and I want it to be one class. I don't want it to be an introduction to another class. Okay. So whenever they finish with this, it's two days, 14 CEs. And um, then the second day was fun too. A lot, we, we do nine to five, so about three o'clock or so, any of them can invite anyone in that they want to get worked on. So it's like a little free session, but this way I can just observe 
how their their work and their techniques and it's a little bit different bringing someone in that's never seen it so that way they can explain the concept find out what issues they're dealing with sciatica mm -hmm. low back knee pain um, there, there's so many symptoms associated with a muscle imbalance and that's really what we concentrate on is ignore the symptoms and concentrate on the, the muscle structure. Do you notice that it's a lot of massage therapists or is it other professions too that take your classes? Other professions okay. too. Um, I did one in Texas and there was three physical therapists in there. I couldn't give them CEs but they wanted to know more about the okay. process. They were familiar with the product and uh, a lot of people in sports physical therapy and massage therapy too and um, I had a chiropractor order one the other day for one particular patient that had spinal orthosis and that's just where the spine is not sitting directly on top so they said well this is so logical that you're holding the sacrum neutral and letting everything just settle into place around it okay so there's a lot of symptoms that it's helped with Okay, and then you also teach, uh, I know, at even conferences too and stuff, so. Yeah, yeah doing, yeah. starting yeah. to kind of, I'm going to be a, a presenter at the World Massage Festival. I have a full class there. Okay. And then um, I'm going to do one in Tallahassee for the last minute Florida. I'm um, nationally uh, um, certified, approved, and then Florida too. So okay. I've got that classes published through CE Broker. And, uh, okay. You know, I, don't, I, I don't have my people to call your people, you know, yeah. I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing it all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's, it's quite a learning process. Yeah. <laughs> I think success is learning more what not to do for the most part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or learn from other people's mistakes. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, try yeah. to. Yeah, yeah try. <laughs> but um, anyway, it's, it's been a lot of fun, quite a journey. And uh, so it's, it's, I sell worldwide now. I have an osteopath in Japan that orders on a real regular basis. Yeah. There's two so people you can, um, on the island of Malta that have this acro edgy. Okay. <laughs> all over the world. Yeah. So do you sell these wholesale then too that Absolutely. people can actually buy it on yeah. selling your practice? Sure. So, and it's basically a hands off, no pun intended, um, kind of selling too. So you perform, uh, you give it to the client maybe during the treatment a little bit. Do people do that usually? Oh yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the therapist yeah. now, it gives you a whole new routine to work on people fully clothed. Yeah. Just come in wearing comfortable clothes. Give Especially the clients that don't hour. feel comfortable at the beginning. It's, so, it's yeah. a whole new world of yeah. people with clothes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's almost like we're regressing, it seems like, and stuff. And we're wearing yeah. clothes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I teach but, massage um, whenever we, um, we usually start off like the Swedish massage, and then we get into chair massage, and students are saying, we're regressing now. And so, yeah. Well, but it is a whole, it's lot, harder. A, a whole lot more people, though, that can come in and will try this, and they have very specific needs of sciatica. That's probably the most letters I get from people, okay. is dealing with that sciatic nerve, but the piriformis lets go relaxes and, and turns loose of that nerve. I deal mostly with the three major muscles that tend to jam the pelvic girdle, either the psoas with a very gentle release, the piriformis, and the sartorius. There's a huge hip to knee connection. So you've got to balance the center of the body first and then everything else will start falling. So with this, place. they can actually, can they lay on a couch or the fur on, on the cloud? On a firm uh, surface. A firm surface? Okay. Now, if they can't get on the floor, and there's a lot of people, I'll tell them just put up maybe a, a flattened cardboard box or use a little piece of wood or something for right under the hip to firm that up so you don't totally sink in the mattress. Okay. You know, but, the, but all that's included. There's a DVD, a book, um, the ele Well, you actually give instructions too when people purchase oh, it? Oh, yeah. Wow. There, there's, there's a, yeah. I know. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> serious? Yeah. Get instructions? Yeah. That helps. <laughs> we have the elevation pad, and I try to give uh, therapists an extra one of these because some people really do need to go a little bit higher. Oh, okay. And especially athletes, the, the you get the sacrum lifted and you really get a deeper stretch as the body relaxes. Okay. Have you ever noticed that maybe um, a female might need this kind it at all? It happens a lot. It does? Okay. It's happening more. Okay. I don't know why. Do you know why? Is there a certain size or height? No, or what? it used to be taller women, but now okay. there's a, a lot of women. I was talking to one therapist at one of these shows, actually, and um, sometimes it's women that have not had children that have a more narrow frame because the width of the female sacrum is based on the birth canal for the most okay. part. That's why people say, why didn't you make one size? I said, well, when men start having babies, <laughs> we'll make one size. Yeah. And then they go, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> so, but some of the taller women do need to have, just have a longer frame, so they have a longer hip. Okay. And uh, But some of the, those, even the smaller women are more comfortable, because you want to isolate the sacrum, and if this is too wide, you're going to be sitting on top of it. Okay. 
and uh, I know one woman I was talking to, she tried both, and she she was short too, about my height. She kept going back to the male version. And I said, well, how do you have children? Um, which I learned is the wrong question because she ended up having three emergency C-sections, so uh, she did not actually give birth. Give birth, okay. So she yeah. said, oh, that's probably why. So she was more narrow, and so she was more yeah. comfortable. Yeah, because it is proven person. that it actually spans, and then it doesn't never go back to Absolutely. normal. Absolutely, you're so, yeah. never normal after that. <laughs> <laughs> But there's, there's my journey, and um, yep. once again, I'm here, and we've moved into the classes yep. now. And Have people asked you to autograph them yet? <laughs> <laughs> I did have to sign a book one time years ago. Yeah. Like, oh my God. But it's just helping people, and that's really what's kept us going over the years. It's like okay. it's, it's been hard. I mean, we have no investors. No one else is involved. It's just been a, um, a really slow slow, steady journey, you know, and people go like, why don't I know about this? And go like, when was the yeah. last time you bought an ad? You know, yeah. and when we did have a, um, a segment on the doctor's TV show on February the 3rd. Oh, you did? Oh, uh, cool. They contacted yeah. me. One of the producers had sacral pain and found it and actually put it on the show. You can go back into the archives of the doctors for February the 3rd. Oh, awesome. You would not believe the orders that got oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were going, it was just like the commercial you see on TV, oh yep. look, we got an order, and they're like, oh look, we got an order, and then it's like, oh no, <laughs> you know, we were pages and pages, and it was just, we, uh, but our manufacturer, oh, and everything is made in the U.S., oh, it is? Okay, absolutely good. everything, Okay. Um, we have a neck support too, and um, we, oh, we, we do this all yet. of this, oh. yeah. instead of your shoulder, okay, yep. <laughs> yeah. we actually have a neck support, okay. but um, and, and we do all this ourselves. The foam is um, from Texas, and um, we make the neck covers. And I know at one point I got a bolt of fabric because I cut these out. I have someone that sews them, and I saw made in another country on the bolt. I got online. There's a made in USA site, and I found a textile mill in the U.S. So that's where I get the fabric from now. Even. Okay. So I'm very wow. adamant about everything. And then they can clean off, no problem, and oh, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Oh yeah, you can so. wipe all this, and you keep it yeah. in the freezer too. It's an excellent cold what? storage. <laughs> So um, the, the person I work with at the office will tell people, you know, use it in the freezer. I'm going like, no, <laughs> sounds like that. get in the freezer and lay on it. I'm going like, you know, no, you don't use it in the freezer. You keep the sacroedgy in the freezer. So it makes a great source to cool the sacrum down. Okay. It makes it a lot easier. And what about relaxing. heat? Um, can you lay no, a heating pad over it no, or not? We, or we you prefer not? to put heat okay. in the sacral area. There's already so much heat and so much involvement in there. Okay. Blood goes to heat. Well, just like with the rectal just, temperature is one degree higher too and stuff. So there's a lot of, you yep. So you don't want to, it's like throwing gas on a fire. It's already too hot in there. Yeah, okay. You know, so you really want to cool that down. And uh, we use very gentle things. Like for, for cold therapy, I'll tell people just to put some rice, just a couple of cups of rice in a Ziploc bag and keep it in the freezer. Yep. And use that to cool a muscle down. You don't have to freeze your skin. You just want yep. to cool that area because blood leaves cold. Yep. yep. So um, that's that's um, the progression of it. But it helps with posture more than anything. And you'll you'll notice a lot of people with um, sciatica and back pain, knee pain. Of course, they're they're thrown off because they're protecting the pain. So a lot of other everything's involved then. So yep. instead of just treating the symptom, we really want to help correct the whole structure and let the body ease back into place. And as a therapist, you can kind of ease things along. It's not it's not a, a ease things along rather. It's not a quick fix. There is no such animal. Yep. And the whole term sacral wedgie, how did did your dad develop, I mean, name that well, the wedgie my part? Well, kind of did that. Because oh, no. um, <laughs> I think athletes, yeah. I mean, give each other wedgies. I know, there's well, yeah. so four girls in the family. Oh, we were just looking for, mama, we, we found kind of a catchy name, and it kept yeah. going back to the sacrum, the sacroiliac, that word kept coming back. It okay. is a wedge-shaped bone. It's the bone that wedges between the hips. And my mother, oh, wedgie's kind of catchy. Well, you never forget it. That's what it's like. <laughs> We say, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's hard finding a word to trademark. Um, yep. Wedge, you couldn't, and it was even uh, not real easy to even get the sacro wedgie trademarked because we had to really show, you know, why the the term, and um, so we got the trademark on that too. But oh, awesome. um, you know, girls don't necessarily go around doing that. So no, we, we didn't really <laughs> know about know, that. Right? Yeah, yeah. So we we're just looking for that little catchy word. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Well, you, you definitely got it. it. Yeah. <laughs> But some people go like, I don't want anything called a wedgie, you know. Yeah. Well, evidently, they had a bad experience yeah. in school yeah. or something. <laughs> but most people do remember. Yeah, yeah exactly. 
but it's all about self-care and client care okay. and those long-term results. And that's okay. what we're And people for. can purchase it um, on, on your website, but do you use PayPal or credit cards or how do you yeah. website? Okay. Uh, uh, all of the above. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, all of the above. And can so. you do phone orders yet? Oh, or, absolutely. Okay, do all this? Okay. Our 800 numbers on the website, sacrowedgy.com, yep. S A C R O W E D G Y. Okay. Dot com, <laughs> not I E or any of that. Yep. <laughs> and then um, for my class, it's sacrologyclass.com, and where I'm going to be, what the class involves. And even in the class, each student will get their own set of the sacrowedgy. It's included. <laughs> okay. So they'll have the male and the female, the next support, and the DVD, and a workbook, too. So okay. It's, it's, it's a fun class. They learn a lot to take care of themselves, too. Yeah. So we definitely need that. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cindy. Thank you. <laughs>